Hi everyone, it's Rachel Veron again with our video blog number two about resident training. I will first start off by explaining what a non-invasive procedure is versus an invasive procedure. A non-invasive procedure is a procedure that does, break, that does not break through the skin. For example, an x-ray of your leg or an ultrasound of, say, someone who's pregnant. An invasive procedure is a procedure that does break through the skin. For example, like a brain surgery or a foot surgery. Even a colonoscopy could probably be considered an invasive procedure. Is it okay to have a resident perform a non-invasive procedure? In my opinion, yes, but it depends. I personally have had a resident shadow my primary care physician. And my doctor did ask me for permission for his resident to be there during my consultation. At that time, I did not mind because we were not doing any procedures, but we were going over lab work. I do find it necessary for residents to perform non-invasive procedures because everyone needs hands-on practice and they need training. But I feel it is important for, I feel that it is important for the doctor and the resident to get permission from the patient first. I would be comfortable with a resident conducting the procedure, but the doctor must be present in order to validate and check that the procedure was done correctly. I would also hope that the doctor would be explaining and pointing out to the resident that the correct things are being done or the incorrect things are being done. But what are more guidelines that need to be followed? The doctor must double check the resident's work and the doctor must take over the procedure if the resident is going off track. The doctor would also possibly have to redo the procedure to guarantee that the same and correct results were received. This is important because if the resident comes up with one conclusion and the doctor comes up with another, then this shows that someone is possibly wrong. But what if I'm not okay with a resident performing a non-invasive procedure? I believe it is a legal issue. If I was not comfortable with a resident performing the procedure and the doctor says it is mandatory and that they will have to do the procedure anyway, I will consider it a HIPAA legal issue. So basically, a confidentiality issue as, or a category as well. Even though it is a training facility, patients or me in this case should not feel forced or obligated to have a resident present. I may not want someone who isn't my doctor to access my medical file. In order for a resident to perform a procedure, they would have to be familiar with my medical history. And that would be a breach of my privacy if I expressed my displeasure of having basically a stranger perform a procedure rather than my doctor who knows my whole history. For example, for example, and this is a fake scenario, that I've gotten into domestic dispute. And my doctor, who has been my doctor for over 25 years, knows about this part of my life. My doctor would order a social worker and give me resources to deal with this issue. But one day, say that I came in with a broken leg from a fall. Any doctor would usually ask, hey, how did this happen? How did you break your leg? But my doctor basically knows my situation pretty well. 
and he would probably know that I got in a domestic dispute and I broke my leg. If a resident is present, then my situation might have to come to light when it became time for the x-ray of my leg and then possible surgery. This would make any patient uneasy and this would be a HIPAA violation if this information was discussed, even though I discussed my displeasure. So even though I do think that training facilities should have residents, and of course residents need to know eventually how to do invasive and non-invasive procedures, I feel that it is for the most part important to get the patient's permission first. And if they're not comfortable with a resident being there, I feel that they should not be forced to have the resident being there. In my doctor's office, he actually has a sign that says, Dr. Blah Blah has a resident with him. If you have um, a concern or if you're not comfortable with this, please let the front staff know and we will not have the resident there basically. I feel that this is important because the doctor's office is somewhere where the patients come to feel comfortable. And if they're not comfortable, then they could take their, their health elsewhere. Thank you.